Uh, hey everybody, uh, it's Chris. I just decided to show you a little video on a wheel that I had um, done some work to. This is an old um, Brent, I think, wheel. I think it's ancient. I found no markings on it. It used to have a big orange top on it with a, like a plastic coating. Uh, the bearings in it were completely blown. This wheel was insanely loud. Uh, so what I did is I replaced the bearings. Uh, as you can see uh, right there, uh, two new bearings there and on the bottom is where the bearings are on the bottom uh, it wasn't bad to change the hottest part the, the bearings were kind of seized on the on the shaft so I had to do a little bit of um, banging with a hammer to get them loose but uh, it wasn't too bad I did replace them uh, what I wanted to show you was a wheel box that here I was um, changing the style of it uh, as you can see here there's the motor and the controller and people's fingers have been in here many times it's um, getting pretty beat up, but yeah, it should last quite a while. Uh, I bought this wheel second hand for uh, 300 bucks or something. Used wheels are very hard to come by. But it's a good wheel. It's nice and it's a fast wheel, uh, which I like sometimes. Um, so what I did is I, I decided to make a wheel box, um, one piece wheel box like this to, to not use a uh, splash pan. Um, what I'm going to do here uh, to protect this bearing is I have this old um, cap. It's for um, uh, drainage lines or, or whatnot. And all I'm going to do is um, drill a hole in the top here. And I'm going to take my router and I'm going to route a circle in here the same size as the bottom of this. And um, I'll kind of sink this in the, um, in the base in, in, the, in, the, in the slot that I route here. And I'll um, I'll use some silicone sealant and kind of just uh, goop it up and and stick it in there so it's watertight and it uh, protects the shaft from uh, any water or clay or anything that's gonna go um, you know could, could 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 come in contact with it. Uh, what I'm gonna do is um, I finish um, screwing this thing together and I'm just gonna coat it with um, bolt building epoxy, a two-part brushable epoxy. And that's it. I'm just going to coat it uh, inside and out and, uh, I don't know, maybe just paint the outside. But it's going to be nice because it's uh, a one-piece um, wheel box, no splash pan. And of course, the uh, throwing head goes on. And so it should be pretty cool, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, actually. So it's still a, it's still a fairly loud wheel. I'll sit down here. Show you. It's it's really loud still. But it is much smoother. That bearing noise before was intolerable. It was just loud 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 but it's much better now like I said I like this wheel because it's it's got some good speed to it see how fast that goes and uh, sometimes I like to get some speed on it and I'm gonna like this wheel box set up um, it's gonna be nice I can put a, a ball of clay on the edge and uh, throw a gauge on quick and it's just gonna be nice I think so I figured I'd just show you this kind of basic wheel rebuild. What I should have done is shot a, a couple of videos as I as I replaced the bearings, but it's honestly pretty self-explanatory once once you get into it. So um, maybe I'll shoot my next video throwing on this this wheel when it's done. All right, thanks for watching.